here so i never managed to speak to you guys um when i left the house because there was a friend of mine who was visiting and yeah but in actual fact i have taken a little bit of a short left Diana, um to uh, the cradle of humankind if you are familiar with where that is that's around the Mildestruf Machalisberg side um, I wanted to just go away for two days and just be by myself and um, I'll explain honestly the real reason why all of this is happening um, right now I'm in the parking lot I'm waiting for my golf cart um, to arrive to take me to the hotel and the hotel reception so basically everything that's around me <laughs> as you can see is green so if you look behind just it's just it's green everywhere and it looks beautiful but yeah I'm looking forward to it I'm looking forward to it I think he's leaving me behind okay anyway um, yeah so I needed to take a little bit of a break I need to think about some things um, 2019 I might actually talk about 2019 in this vlog um, but my golf cart is here but I'll explain everything let me check in and do all those things and I'll talk to you guys a little bit later hello of our cars down on the table knowing there's no way that you'll be able to win this one but she's somebody else in the making first she's just gotta stop all the faking and she'll be there but she's wondering if it's gonna feel like she's forever wondering if it's gonna feel like she's whenever she leaves her safe space she leaves her safe space Okay, so I'm going up to my room. Look at that view. Okay, can we talk about this view? Amazing. Okay, this is the wonderful gentleman who's helping me. <laughs> how are you, guys? <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Like, please tap the card. It's on the far left. Born a little taller, then pull the handle down, then we slide it. Oh, then we slide the door. And we'll come to the cradle for Oh my god! What you see from the internet, it's what you get. Yes! yes. <laughs> oh my gosh this is beautiful okay um so i just checked into my room it's so pretty <laughs> it's so pretty i'm so excited i'm already feeling calmer i'm already feeling more relaxed i'm already feeling great and that's all that matters for me right now um uh, but i'm going with fikash who's driving there and he's taking me to the restaurant because your girl she's hungry Okay, I need to eat, so meleng um, And then I'll probably just come back, relax, read. The whole purpose of this trip is to relax and get some me time. And then obviously tomorrow it's off to another place. And the next day, another place. And then, yeah, next week I will be going to Mount Grace again with a good friend of mine. So. But you'll see all of that. I'll vlog all of that. It's quite bright, but it's beautiful. There's my room over there. That's my room. Oh, so I'm at my lunch spot, and this is my view. It is so green. It is so lush. It is absolutely amazing. Can you get me the bottle of Creation, please? Sauvignon Blanc. Mm -hmm. Yes. I'll take oh yes. Since you say execute you sir. Okay. Yeah. Mara Laukan Kalakayona. Okay. No. I'm sitting here, I'm having lunch. This place is gorgeous. It's amazing. Um I hope it's not too windy and that you can actually hear me and hear what I'm saying. But for the most part I have had a rough year um i think i'll talk a little bit about that as soon as i get to the room but for the most part i've had a little bit of a rough year and 
you know, I've had a rough year, okay? And I wanted to um, treat myself to some time away. And um, next week I'll be going away um, with my girlfriend. Um, today's a Saturday. On Tuesday I'll be going away with a girlfriend of mine and I'll try and vlog that one as well. Um, this one I am only, I'm here for two days, but I'm only going to vlog today. And maybe a little bit of tomorrow but for the most part i really want to give myself some time to um, relax i need to give myself some time to think um, plan my things uh, in terms of productivity for the next um, year um, there's a lot of things that i couldn't achieve i'll talk a, a little bit about that a little bit later uh, but for the most part um, I just needed this time I needed to just come back towards myself a little bit um, and I've been missing my mom quite a lot lately as well so it's just been a lot going on um, but for the most part it's, it's, it's fine I know that normally at this time of the year we tend to think about a lot of um, things that um, you know that we would want to change and things that we would want to fix and that kind of thing um but for the most part i'm not gonna really say much apart from um just yeah i'm gonna take all of this in and i'm gonna enjoy it and i know my girlfriend trip is gonna be a little bit crazy so i just needed some downtime and i'll talk to you guys probably properly when i get back to my room um, for now, I just want to have me some wine and relax. Talk to you guys in a bit. Okay, so I kind of forgot. I'm halfway through my lunch. I'm having um, steak and a salad, and then I had just a couple of chips. Not the whole thing. I, I can't. Um, and my wine, and I asked them to take my wine away. Um, yeah, so I asked them to take my wine away um, so that I could have it later on in my bedroom. <clears throat> and yeah i'm probably not gonna come down for dinner i'm probably gonna order some room service or something i really just want to go back to the room take a long bath um just relax um sit out on the deck i have a deck <laughs> are you joking are you joking um but at the end of the day yeah it's gonna be a good time and i can't wait I'm already having a good time. I'm already very, very relaxed, which is brilliant. Okay, so it's night time and I've just... That's my view, just outside my room. Um, yeah. Let's make sure I don't officially close the door. But this is pretty much what it looks like. That's the view, insane, and you pretty much, there's golf carts that come through here, and you pretty much come up the stairs, and you've got a nice deck. My glass of wine is over there, and that's what you see. And let me grab this, because I was sitting here. Um, and then you walk into the room, open the door, okay. And this is what you see. Oops, I'm trying to close. This is very, very tricky. With one hand, very, very tricky. Okay, closed. So that's basically the room. TV's on. <laughs> uh, my bag is opened for the gods. <laughs> and that is this huge, ginormous bed, which has got my Michelle Obama becoming um journal a guided journal for discovering your voice and then the book that i'm reading right now by bessie head which is a question of power it's a reread uh i've read it before i've read it in varsity it is a disturbing book so if you want to read it just know that it's very disturbing it's got very disturbing content that might um trigger you very much um, so don't read it if you think anything to do with sort of sexual violence, anything to do with mental health, it definitely might trigger you. So yeah, even me, I read it, it triggers me a lot. And 
yeah but i really love it it's a well-written book and i'm gonna read that while i'm here and reread that the finishings are exceptional it's a little lamp there so i can read tonight um uh, the wall art <laughs> the prints um i really 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 love the side tables right here they are exceptional they're beautiful and the lamps are actually quite nice as well um and then here you've got sort of like a, a little curtain as you can see um and it closes up so this is basically your wardrobe and there's gowns there which is fantastic an umbrella just in case you walk out and it's raining some um what are these slippers a blanket which i never normally use blankets at hotels i don't use i always carry a sweater in case i get cold at night um a safe of course that's standard in hotel rooms um let me just put this here um water because hello your girl drinks a lot of water uh wine this is the wine that i had at lunch and i'm just finishing that off i might get myself another one this is creation sauvignon blanc and it's very very good um this is pretty much like a desk area where you can even do your makeup because there is a mirror right there um and then when you open up this closet right here you've got all your teas and coffees and what's that what is that thing right there? Hair dryer. Thank you. Okay. Hair dryer. A bar fridge which has only water in it, which is good. Don't want to get temptations. And a kettle for tea in the morning. That's the closet there. And that's the little. And this is the insane part because you walk through here. You open this. And you open that. And you walk right into the bathroom. So. Got a sunken tub, beautiful, love these, definitely going to have a bath later on tonight. On my left, I've got a his mirror, sink, basin, laundry basket, towels, fantastic. And then a hers mirror, sink. And then they call this an elephant shower, which is fantastic, lights up. Elephant shower because it is exceptionally huge. Uh, probably take a shower tomorrow morning hooks over there sunken bath um with a little i suppose this is a, oops i suppose these are bath salts yes they are fantastic love that love this little table and a toilet with um prints as well i am dying at how skewed these prints are <laughs> they are driving me mad um there we go much better <laughs> really, really love this place um i've had i will talk to you guys later about this but i've had already a rather emotional time i was on a call right here as you can see this patch i was actually crying uh i had a call with um one of my good friends and i literally let it all out because um it's been a tough year for me mentally emotionally physically um there's things that i wanted to achieve this year there's things i wanted to do but i couldn't get a chance to do them but even aside from that just emotionally it's been a very very difficult year my lips are so dry um i'm sorry about that but yeah so this this patch right here is a patch of tears basically <laughs> um i'm gonna freshen up and there's people walking out outside but um i'm gonna freshen up um just get ready for bed for calm down yana session um maybe get a bottle of wine and um I just hang out but i'll definitely check in with you guys a little bit later Make her feel better, then that's where she'll go. That is all you got in the end You got in the end But 
morning it is day two of of the trip and it is currently six o'clock on the dot i am a very early riser i wake up i think around like five o'clock or something like every day and i've got a couple of plans uh for today i'm gonna take a drive up to you you'll see all of that um but I'm going to wake up now around 7. I'm going to get out of bed around 7, take a shower, go to breakfast. Um, I'll probably wake up at like, yeah, like 7.30. Take a shower, go to breakfast. And um, I have a 9 o'clock spa appointment, which I cannot wait. I'm getting a massage done. And I cannot wait for an hour and a half. I cannot wait. Um, and I've requested that they come to the room to get the massage done. Because I, I just need the quiet and the, just one person to come and do the massage. And we keep it moving. Um, so I currently, I recently purchased this. Uh, becoming journal from Michelle Obama and it's a great journal <laughs> forces you to write I feel like nowadays I used to write a lot and I used to journal a lot when I was younger and nowadays just stuff gets in the way you know you there's work there's life there's family there's YouTube there's everything else that you're trying to be on top of that I used to remember how fulfilling just sitting down and journaling is and being able to look back on those thoughts like later on in the year or being able to look back on those, you know, what you what you wrote and how far you've come, how you've changed or, or you know, when the road started to change or, you know, yeah, the good, the bad, the ugly, basically. And it's what I love about journaling, really, to be honest. Um, so I want to get back into that. Um, and so far, so good, I guess. <laughs> so far, so good. Um, so in any case, uh, I was thinking about doing a video on, um, you know, what I learned, what 2019 has taught me. And in actual truth, I don't want to do a full-on sit-down video of what 2019 has taught me. I feel like I, this moment now, this time now, is me trying to collect my thoughts for 2019 and start new ones for 2020. Um, the one thing that I can say was that 2019, and I think I mentioned this in one of my videos, previous videos, um, one thing I can say about 2019 is that it has been the shittiest year, okay? It's been the shittiest year. Um, it hasn't been the best year. It sucks on so many levels. Um, work for me was very, very stressful. I feel like that was the one part of my life that I did not have any control over. A lot of the time I, I feel like I've got some sort of balance between my work life and everything but i felt like um 
this year, 2019, consumed, work life consumed my life, essentially. Uh, and it was not just all the time physically going into work, blah, blah, but just mentally, I was thinking a lot about work. Um, you know, even aside from it, it was just constantly stressful, uh, constantly long hard stressful days and that was that was tough I, I typically don't really you know talk about my work which i it won't that won't start today but um then another thing it's just mentally i i think i withdrew back into my shell quite a lot because um i didn't really spend much time with uh, friends or um, I didn't I didn't really I all I can recall of this year is spending a lot of time by myself um, the introvert in me sort of made me a little bit of a recluse as well and it was very rare that you'd find me out and about with friends. I'm pretty sure I can count the times that I was out and about with my friends. Um, but um, it personally for me, uh, 2019 gave me a, a lot of time to think. Um, I also wanted to execute a lot of things, but I could not quite do do that uh because 2019 was just really painful as well um it's just trying to just find the balance and deal with the balancing act of life which is very very tricky um but with all the bad things that happened this year there were good things you know i traveled got to go to japan um i got to take little like mini and trips and stuff and you know found out this year that my 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 hairstyle that i've ha had for two years now is a winning hairstyle because zozini won miss universe that was nice um but you know emotionally i'm just in a very fragile sp space right now um, I'm I'm trying to get back to normalcy. We'll see how that goes. I've been talking for ten minutes, so I am gonna try and rest some. I'm gonna finish off my tea, which is somewhere back there. Um, read this book. I just journaled, but I'm rereading this book. I think I spoke to you guys about it. Um, a Question of Power by Bessie Head. I think I spoke to you guys about it when I walked in. Uh, so I'm going to read this for about the next hour or so. All of and those then... years that passed us by All of those tears we both have cried I really miss to seeing you smile I blame myself Okay, uh, yeah, one. 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 I yeah, yeah, early yeah. hours of this morning, yeah. yeah. Good morning, everybody. Um, just woke up, had a little bit of a chat with you at 6 a.m. Uh, right now is 10 past 8. I am at breakfast. Typically don't eat this early, but I uh, have a spa appointment at nine and it's going to be for two hours so i wanted to quickly grab some breakfast because by the time it ends um i won't breakfast will be over um but i do have a plan today to just take a leisurely drive uh to the hard to be a sport area and um 
just be by myself. There's a really nice cafe that I like that side called, uh, I think it's French Toast. Um, that everybody takes pictures of because it's got like a sort of like a Eiffel Tower mark kind of uh, structure. And yeah, I'll probably go there for uh, lunch or French toast or something. Probably also maybe visit the aerial cableway. Excuse me, it'll depend. It'll all depend. But um, yeah, just wanted to check in and let you guys know that it's breakfast time, it's morning time. And I cannot wait for my massage later because, guys, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going through it. I'm going through the most. I just had some yogurt, so now I'm gonna pick up some hot food, eggs and stuff, uh, and maybe end it off with a pastry. I took a little bit of a drive. Um, I'm in Hartepia Sport and I wanted to come for a second. I've been here before, but I wanted to um, I wanted to come for a second time to the aerial cableway because the view from the top is insane. But I forget that we are in December. It is packed here and unfortunately I'm not one with patience. Um, there's other places in Sorry, there's other places in Hartis that I can go and see. Um, actually, there's a cable coming in right now. I don't know if you can see it right through the trees. Okay, there's one coming through there, somewhere there. There's another one going up. There's one coming down, but yeah, I think you'll see it better because it's going to pass right through there somewhere. There it is. So, yeah, I wanted to come up to the aerial cableway and go up there, but the line is incredible. I could see the line coming in through the door, and I was just like, <laughs> no. Um, uh, it's, it's, it's fine. I've seen it before. I've been here before, twice, I think. So, I just wanted, honestly, it's just a day out and about, but I saw some really nice... Um, but I saw some really nice uh, lifestyle centers that I want to go check out. Also still want to go to French Toast as well. Um, I am going to pop in here, however, because I need the loo. Okay. Drank a lot of water back at the hotel. And um, yeah, I'm going to need the loo. For the most part, it's nice. The day is actually quite nice. It's a cloudy day, but still quite humid and warm. So that's nice. But um yeah, as for now. So this is pretty much what this space is known for. This is the, um, this is just at the entrance of, um, what do you call this? This is just at the entrance of um, French Toast. And it's just basically a, it almost looks like a, a projector. It's like it's on a sort of like a screen, not a projector. But, um, yeah, it's got a little bit of a, a drawing or mock-up of uh, the Eiffel Tower, which is what I'm going to show you next. A mock Eiffel Tower, that is. Oh, the biker. Oh. Everything in...
sorrows we share the love as we get older maybe we change i had my reasons i couldn't stay hope you're okay so it is so incredibly packed my anxiety was peaking i had to freaking go <laughs> I'm in the car now. I'm about to pull out. One more stop. Um, the Heart Mark Lifestyle Center. And then after that, I'm just going to take a little bit of a drive. That'll probably be where I'm going to end up this vlog. Um, yeah. I told you guys that uh, at some point in the vlog that from tomorrow on uh, for the next day or so, I don't want to vlog. I don't want to look at my camera. I really just want to take some time out uh yeah so let's check out this heart mark lifestyle center and then yeah let's see what that's all about but yo hardis is busy in december time i'm shocked i'm shocked myself i'm even shocked Wowza. we share the love as we get older maybe we change I had my reasons I couldn't stay Hope you're okay now Even if I Love you Love you Always abide No matter what I do I wait for the morning light To shine through To keep you warm Although I'm gone What has kept you before That's pretty much the most racial, racially charged place I've ever been to in a really long time. And fucking insane. Wow. I've never felt so uncomfortable <laughs> in such a long time. Yeah, time to go. Time to go.